stationery. Now I've got my prints here and what I'm going to do is first of all cut some card blanks. I've got some ready here for the card toppers. I'm going to keep it simple. They're quite busy prints. They've got some really nice abstract kind of design on there. I don't think they need an awful lot more. I will though be using some little bits I've dug out from my uh, stash. So I've got some of uh, the uh, Tim Holtz Ideology Word stickers. I also found some little ideology um, butterflies and little collage bits and rub-ons. I found these in my collection that I haven't used in ages so I'm going to um, add some, you could do it actually just with stamping but while I found my rub-ons I'm going to use them. So my card blank is four inches so I'm going to make this just slightly smaller, maybe about three and a quarter and I'm just going to cut a square for the front. And just to make this look a little bit more complete, what really helps is then to mount this onto something just slightly bigger. So I'm just going to have another piece of white card, slightly bigger. My card top is three and a quarter, so I've cut this to three and a half, which then will fit on here. Now I've got some uh, deep gold, a metallic, and a bottle lid, and just a couple of bottle lid shapes, and that is all I'm going to put on this one. I'm going to add a couple of um, sticker words on this one and then I'm going to use some of those dimensional kind of foam pads to lift it up a little bit and I'm going to do that on the underneath piece of card as well so it's lifted up once and lifted again so we have a little arty card to send to somebody in the post I'm going to do my next card with some of the um, green and blues so I've got three and a quarter inches, three and a half inches on a four inch card. And I'm going to use some of the darker, the original blue and green print. And I'm just going to cut some little strips so I can collage those on there. I'm just looking through my collection of rub-ons and I could choose a little tiny phrase, something like with all of my heart. So something similar to what I did on this one here. This one says, hello friend. Or I could choose something. I'm liking the look of these big numbers in the middle here. And I'm thinking I might put those across. The nice thing about rub-ons is you can see how it looks before you commit. And some metallic gold as well. Just those kind of top layers. Makes it look a little bit more finished. I've got some contrasting strips of the darker green print and now I'm actually going to stitch those on there. Now stitching is always optional, um, I like the look of it, so I'm going to stitch those on there, leave a few threads hanging off, add my butterfly and then build it up with the 3D fixers as before. Darty greetings cards to go with the ones that I've already made and if you've got some prints left over you could quite easily turn them into a little matching envelopes. So making envelopes for your cards is also a great way of using up your lighter prints. Now you can make an envelope just by cutting a square folding the corners in, I'll show you in a moment. You can look online for envelope um, templates, there's loads online or you might have one of these in your stash somewhere. This is an envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. But either way, it kind of works. So what I've done, for a four inch card, you need about seven inches of um, print to make your envelope. And if you place it diagonally, then the corners just fold in like so. And you can kind of score that and glue it. Um, an online template would help you just to neaten up those corners. Ah, 
Thank you so much for watching. 